Hello, hello everybody. John Han with the Pulsing Cinema. And today's movie is The Secret of Dorian Gray, aka just simply Dorian Gray, 1970. The 1970 Italian, I don't know, probably Italian, German, French, alien co production <laughs> starring uh, Helmut Berger. Uh, in the the classic story of of Dorian Gray, the guy who doesn't age, but his painting ages for him. Uh, this film sets Dorian Gray uh, in kind of a swinging London, which, which, but it's kind of weird because the film starts out. It should it's, the film takes place over like thirty years, you know, where Dorian Gray doesn't age. Uh, so it should start in like the 40s or 50s and then end in the 70s but it always feels like the 70s in the film so they don't really kind of, even though everybody kind of gets you know uh you know white hair and, and, and attempts to to age it, it doesn't really work out uh directed by massimo delamano the uh, cinematographer of fistful of dollars and a few dollars more and also the director uh, behind uh, What Have You Done to Solange, uh, a.k.a. What the Fuck Have You Done to, to Solange. I like to call it What the Fuck You've Done to Solange. Uh, and What Have They Done with, with Your Daughters, or What the Fuck Happened to the Daughters, as I like to call it. Uh, it's just my own pet titles uh, for the What, what uh, Have They Done to the Girls films. It was, I don't think there was a trilogy. It was like, What Have You Done to Solange, or What Have They Done with Your Daughters. Both were actually good films. But in any case, uh, Massimo Dallamano, uh, a great Italian cinematographer and director, and you know he he uses uh, stylish London to to great effect here. Uh, it's a v very interesting films. We, we watch Dorian Gray, Helmut Berger's Dorian Gray is the innocent who become be, becomes seduced by uh, his image and, and his own narcissism and who gets pulled into it uh, and we just see him go down the rabbit hole into perversion and he's, he's helped along by, by Herbert Lom as this kind of uh, as this deviant uh, old man this old uh, art patron you know who, who's kind of at the, the, uh, the edges of it Marie Lilligdahl, Inga herself uh, plays Dorian Gray's uh, love interest, the the woman that he loves, uh, who is um, who is uh, you know uh, comes in conflict with with Dorian's uh, need uh, for for power and wealth and uh, uh, and uh, approval by by his new set. She's she she embarrasses him and it becomes rather an embarrassing scene. And but she she's quite good. Uh, I mean, she's Lilich doll. She's uh, she is she's Inga. What what do you want? <laughs> there's not a, there's not a lot to it. Uh, so a good film, a good you know, and of course you know uh, if you're in Swinging London, you're Dorian Gray. I mean, what do you do? You become like an adult movie star, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you become a, a a male model of sorts. Helmut Berger had the physique to pull that kind of off, pull that thing off at this point in the early '70s. Because remember, this was just around the time where he was getting very big in Visconti films uh, like The Damned, you know. And his his star was was going up. He'd ha he, he in 1970 he was still with uh, the director Visconti. He was he had been kind of a, an actor and had been discovered by this old man Visconti and and there was a, a love relationship between Visconti and Helmut Berger and okay that's that's all that's all legendary uh, but I guess it's during this I guess it's just like the dam was like 1968-69 right and, and, and then and then this film um, Helmut Berger you know you, you can say he's he's may not be the best actor but he just has this natural charisma that you you want to see what he's going to do next, and you just have you just can't take his take your eyes off him for some reason, you know. I mean, he's just he's just one of those people that you know he, he may not hit all the marks or whatever or this, and technically it shouldn't work, but it, it seems like it's perfect casting uh, in the role of of Dorian Gray. And he's and, and, and I, it's a really interesting film. I mean, m maybe not my my favorite Italian film or my favorite Massimo Dallamano film, 
but uh, definitely interesting to look at and a great poster. Oh yeah, the poster is real misleading. Nothing like that happens. It, we don't see like a half man thing in, in in the yeah that 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 poster is real real um, really uh, yeah. No, it's, I wanted to see that in the movie, but no. It's truth in advertising. Hmm.